Hello and welcome back to more IXL tutorials. This is Mr. Duffick and we are continuing on with our circles unit, moving on to the V's. So we'll start with V1, which is just finding the center of a circle. So it's just as easy as that. It's just as easy as it sounds. We're going to find the very center of each of these circles. So the first problem that just came up here has a circle on a graph and we just need to write down the coordinates of the center. So the center is pretty much always where the circle tells you it is, the uh, point right here, for instance. So that point, the center of a circle is at zero comma zero. So we're just gonna type in zero comma zero. There we go. Okay, what is the center of the circle x squared plus y squared equals nine? Okay, so this requires a little bit of explanation. So when dealing with this particular equation of a circle, we want to talk about what the variables kind of stand for. So as you should know, the equation of a circle is going to look like this, x minus h squared plus y minus k squared equals r squared. And h stands for the x-coordinate of the center of a circle, so x center, and k is going to be the y coordinate of the center of a circle. Okay, now if we go back to our equation here, we see that it's x minus zero, like there's nothing here, and y minus zero, because there's nothing there. So h would equal zero, and k would equal zero, which means our center is again, at zero, zero. Okay, now going back to this equation, we have x minus zero, so x minus h, zero, and we have y minus two over three. So our, our k or y coordinate of the center is gonna be two over three, we'll do fraction form two over three just like that. Now keep in mind, the form of the equation has to do with uh, subtraction. So it's h mi or x minus h and y minus k. So when we go over to our equation over here, it's uh, y minus two over three, that's correct. It's just gonna be positive two over three for the y coordinate. You could also think about it uh, in the sense of what is it gonna take to make this part of the equation equal zero. So what do we gotta plug into y to make this zero? Well. 2 thirds minus 2 thirds is zero, so it's positive 2 thirds. And that should be it, good. Okay, now this one. So remember, the formal equation is x minus h. So h is gonna be the opposite of our sign here. So it's not gonna be positive one, it's gonna be negative one. And again, you could think about it in the sense that what's gonna make this part of the equation equal zero? Well, if we plug in one, it's gonna be one plus one, which is two, which is what we don't want. We want it to equal zero. So if we plug in negative one, negative one plus one cancels out to zero. So our uh, h uh, variable is gonna be negative one. And then y is by itself again, so it's gonna be zero. Already up to 60, very nice. What is the center of the circle this? So x is by itself, that is zero. And then it's y plus 23 over four, meaning it's gonna be negative, and then 23 over four. Okay, down to a graph again. Uh, where's the center of the circle? Well, it's right here, and that's gonna be at zero comma negative three. So zero comma negative three. Great. Back up to the equation, what's the center of a circle? Well, so what is this, uh, what's gonna cause this part of the equation to equal zero? That would be a negative five over two. So we'll type in negative five over two for the H. And for the y, it's going to be a positive 10, right? Positive 10, because 10 minus 10 is zero. Good. Uh, next, uh, we have an x minus one, which is positive one, and a plus five over three, which is a negative five over three. Back down to our graph, it looks like we're at 
4 comma negative 1 we do 4 comma negative 1 easy oh we're already at 90 just like that easy easy okay work hard and i'll see you for v2 next time take care bye bye